So today you're going to have a lesson to practice molarity and to learn how to do some molarity calculations. Let's begin with a warm up. I want you to pause the video and think about these questions. The first one is, what is molarity? Go ahead and see if you can change five molar into its more basic units. And then I want you to think about how is concentration important for poison control? They are the ones you call if you ingest a chemical, by the way. Okay, so molarity is a measurement of concentration, which we introduced last week. So concentration has two units in it. It has moles and it has a volume, which is in liters. Um, change 5m, 5 molar, into its more basic units. So we did just that. We said that the capital M is the unit we use for molarity. So that actually has two units in that one given unit. So that would include um, 5 moles per one liter would be the basic units for the five molar. How is concentration important for poison control? Um, so the molarity is going to suggest to you how strong a solution is. And so if you know that you have a solution containing something that is potentially harmful, something like um, a poison, something like some of the chemicals that we even have in our home to clean the drain, such as the drain cleaner um, sodium hydroxide, that as you increase the molarity, you're going to be dealing with something that's potentially much more dangerous. All right, so let's go ahead and do some practice together. Our agenda involves um, doing just some sample molarity problems, and then you're going to practice some problems on your own. And our goal is to be able to calculate the concentration of a solution and use concentration to calculate moles, mass, and volume. Okay, so the first one that I'd like to model for you says, what is the concentration if six grams of sodium hydroxide is dissolved in four liters of solution? Okay, so the first thing that we wanna do is we want to, we wanna um, notice our givens and we wanna notice our um, unknown. So in this problem, I'm going to use G for givens. We've been given um, the volume. A volume is equal to 4.0 liters of NaOH. Okay, and um, we've been given the mass is equal to 6.0 grams. The next, we want to write down what is our unknown. Okay, what's unknown is the concentration. And in chemistry, most of the time, the concentration that we need is molarity. Okay, so we have the liters already, but in order to do molarity, we're gonna need the moles. So that's the unknown we're searching for. So, in order to solve this problem, I'm going to start with my given. I'm going to start with the mass of six grams, and I'm going to try to get the moles. So I'm going to start with the given on the left, 6.0 grams. And in order to get the moles, I need the conversion factor, which is the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. So that's another unknown that I needed. So I look that one up. And then molar mass of NaOH is equal to 40 grams per mole. So what I want over what I have, I want the mole, so that's going to go on top. So one mole of NaOH per 40 grams NaOH. Okay. I'm going to cancel out my common units, which are the grams. 6 times 1 divided by 40. And that I looked up. And that was, let's see here. And that appears to be 0.15 moles of sodium hydroxide. Okay. 
Okay, I have the moles, but once again, my unknown is concentration, is the molarity. So in order to get the molarity, I'm gonna take the moles and I'm gonna divide that by my volume, which is the liters. So I have 0.15 moles of NaOH and I'm gonna divide that by four liters of NaOH. And that gives me 3.75 molar. I noticed my initial givens that I, that I had, the, um, the significant figures for those um, are two. If you look up here, one, two, one, two. And so I'm gonna go ahead and round two to give me two sig figs. That's gonna round right here. So that's gonna be a 3.8 molar solution of NaOH. So that one I'm gonna circle because that one has got the right stuff in it. Okay, so the next one says, how many grams of H2SO4 are needed to make 2.5 liters of 4.0 molar solution? So same thing, I'm gonna start by writing my givens and my unknown, and then I'll go ahead and solve it once I'm done. So GUS is the acronym for that. The givens are um, 2.5 liters and four molar. And my unknown is my mass in grams of H2SO4. Okay, so in order to get to the grams, um, I'm going to also need the moles. So that's gonna be my first step. I'm gonna start with one of my givens. I'm gonna start with my, in this particular instance, my volume, which is 2.5 liters. I'll start that on the left. I want to get the number of moles first. So I need to use the molarity of the solution this time, which was given, that was four moles, um, four molar solution. Four molar solution, that means four moles per liter. So I want the moles, so the 4.0 moles is gonna go on top. Um, and that's per liter, so that's per one liter. And okay, so that's four moles um, times 2.5. Gonna cancel out my liters, and that's gonna give me 10 moles. And this is this time of H2SO4. Okay, let's go back. My unknown are the grams though. So I still have to convert moles to grams of H2SO4. So that's another conversion step. So this time I got the 10 moles H2SO4. In order to convert to grams, I need the molar mass of sulfuric acid. It turns out that sulfuric acid's molar mass is 98.079 grams per one mole of sulfuric acid H2SO4. Okay, so the moles are gonna cancel and 10 times 98.079, so that's gonna be 980.79 grams. I look to my givens for the significant figures, and I use the smallest number of significant figures. It looks like there's two for both of these. So I'm gonna round right there on the eight. This becomes 980 grams H2SO4. Okay, so um, the last couple here for practice, why don't you pause the video this time and see how you're doing on these by yourself, and then come back and we'll go over them together. Okay, so we're gonna start with our givens. We have a volume, we have 45 milliliters. We have um, our moles, 0.78 moles of 
This one is HNO3, that's nitric acid. It's a strong acid. And then our unknown is the molarity. Okay, so in order to get the molarity, we're going to also need liters. Because liters um, are what you use for molarity. So we're going to start with our given volume, 45 milliliters. We're going to change that to liters. All right, there's 1,000 milliliters in one liter. And so that's going to end up being 45 divided by 1,000. Um, the milliliters cross out, and that gives me 0.045 liters of um, this solution. Okay, now I have the moles already, so it's pretty straightforward from here. I'm going to put 0.78 moles over the 0.045 liters. And when I do that, I end up with, um, so I end up with 17.3 molar. I had two significant figures, so I'm gonna go ahead and round right here on the seven position. So that's gonna be 17 molar of my nitric acid. I'll make sure to put HNO3 because I need to always let my solution have also the substance in it. Okay, one more we're going to do together. Go ahead and pause the video, try it yourself. Okay, let's see how you did. Um, our givens here are the volume, 5.5 liters, and the molarity, 2.0 molar. Our unknown is moles. Okay, we're going to start with our solution volume to get there. So 5.5 liters of NH3. And I'm going to use the known molarity to help solve for the moles. There's 2.0 moles per one liter in a two molar solution of NH3. The liters are going to cancel out. That's 5.5 times 2 divided by 1, and that gives me 0.045 liters. Sorry, that gives me point. Okay, so that gives me 11 moles. I had two significant figures, so that's just going to end up being 11 moles. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and get started on the homework, the practice. I believe there's about nine problems that are similar to these where you're going to have to do some conversions using molarity.